Sorry if I end up startling any of you. I'm actually broadcasting this from my bed. I, um, I just remembered a few minutes ago that I made a promise to someone, um, I think sometime before I played World War One Medic or Sword of the Samurai, that I would show off a little bit about map tool macros and what I learned uh, last night before I ended the stream. And obviously I was pretty tired and there was no one around exactly to remind me. So I figured I'd do it now. Um, this is only going to last a few minutes. I'm kind of recording this from bed. So, um, macros... Uh, can can be operated in a wide variety of formats. You can import them. You can have like gigantic frameworks and whatever. You can have like little uh, local things here, which is what I'm going to be showing off. Little local macros. They take nothing more than just like you could set up it up in a minute. For example, this little macro here I just typed in as an example to serve here for the purposes of this brief video. Uh, some basic little coding there. Uh, automates an attack roll process and damage in the event that I hit with a scythe. That's all that you really need to do. It uh, just helps to ease the flow. Of course, with this kind of setup, you have to manually put in all the details, your base attack bonus, strength modifier, and the damage. But it's serviceable. Now, something more complex that I ended up uh, working on was uh, this thing here, which is a whole bit of clusterfuck of various coding nonsense that I did in an attempt to uh, just make everything look prettier and shit. And I'll give you an example of how this looks right there. That disguises all the attack roll and damage stuff. It hides it, and as you can see, there's special modifiers for the D20 roll, base attack bonus, uh, some if functions down here in the event that uh, yeah, D20 uh, ends up rolling a 1, or the d20 rolls a 20, if it's greater than 1 and less than 20, it prints out the whole attack roll thing that could be uh, applied to an opponent's AC. It's still just basic stuff, though. The more advanced macros, you'd want to build token properties off of that. So that, uh, where are my token properties at? I don't have anything set up here. But you can script the super advanced tokens, even in local format, so that they automatically modify a token's properties to add and subtract health. Now, personally, I think that's just fucking going too far there. I mean, it's supposed to be a goddamn tabletop, and this helps to ease the tabletop process, not to fucking replace it entirely. Come on now, fucking put some goddamn effort into it. You should know it well enough. I mean, it's... More of a newbie thing. You press the button enough times, for example, here, since I rolled a 1, the damage didn't even bother to get printed out because the 1's an auto-miss. And if you roll a 20, which might take me a while... Bunch of 1's. God damn it. Give me a 20! Give me... Oh, there we go. So there. Now, in the event you rolled a 20, it was an auto-hit, so it didn't exactly matter what the attack roll state was. And it also unlocks the additional functions of the critical roll, because in D&D 3.5, whenever you roll into, like, your critical uh, hit thing, you actually have to make sure you made a critical hit. So you make an attack roll with the same modifiers, and if you hit again, then you actually get a critical hit. A scythe crit hits on a 20, it deals 4x damage, which is, uh, you roll those dice. So, uh, you'd add 24 plus 9, 33 damage. That's a Rothelpalooza right there. So, yeah, there's that. Um, alright. I probably could do a better job explaining that, but that was just a simple way to go through while my brain is fucking shot right now. But I wanted to make sure that I got that done so that I, um... I fulfilled my end of the bargain because I'm lawful evil, goddammit. And I didn't want to uh, break that promise. It's a good thing that I remembered that I'm too fucking tired. Anyway, yeah, that's... No, this was like a bonus ending for the July 14th stream. I, um... Congratulations. Only like... <coughs> and this little fucking segment didn't matter at all except for that one goddamn person. All right. I think I'm done live broadcasting here and startling people. Because I'm pretty sure that's what I've been doing. People are like, oh my god, he's talking, what the fuck. 
See, look, I even pulled out a chat window. People are like, oh my god, he's talking, what the fuck? But I'm done. Try not to ask me any more map tool questions, especially like macro stuff. I am not the best source of information. That's just stuff that I picked up in learning last night, and there you go. It's really simple, much more simple than what fucking, uh, it looks at first glance. Like, I was pretty intimidated by it, and I just didn't even bother with it at all until yesterday, whenever I finally figured out how the functions work and everything. Alright, so, July 14, 2012 broadcast.